Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video! In today's video we're gonna talk about Quest. Now I know there's a lot of tutorials out there that shows you how already how to create quests inside RPG Maker, but I have yet to encounter a video that shows you how to do it properly. And so this is what I'm gonna address today. I'm gonna show you how to implement a quest quickly, how to test it even more quickly, and I'm gonna show you the main problem of quest issues you encounter because you didn't know any better but also how to fix it. Well, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna have our little house over here with our quest giver, which is gonna be a hold witch that needs you to collect some mushrooms inside the forest. Nothing like super difficult let's just go ahead and find that witch let's go i think i saw one yep okay that's gonna be her and then she's a quest giver so witch quest giver and if we talk with her she's gonna say stuff uh, that propose us to get a quest so let me just fast forward this for you All right, so we have a quest giver. She gives us this choice to accept or decline the quest, which is to go collect some mushrooms outside inside the forest. Now, here's the thing. Here's where 99% of the people that does quests inside RPG Maker tells you to do and where you're doing it wrong, which caused you so many problems with so many of your quests. Now, somebody that doesn't know what he's talking about will give a tutorial where he will say, well, the next step you need to do is if they accept the player, just create a variable, the quest, the witch quest or whatever, and then set the amount to constant one. That is terrible advice. You never want to do this. You never, ever, ever want to set the variable of a quest line to a constant. Never. And I'm going to tell you why. Because let's say you have a quest line that has 6, 7, 8, 9, 12 steps. Do you seriously think that you will always get the constant number right inside your head, along with creating all the possible outcomes, all the pages for all the bases, along with all the lines? Of course not. It's never gonna happen. You're always gonna have issues like, wait, what's the, con what's the constant number already for that step? What is it? And blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh my God. And then when you test it, nothing works. And it's just a freaking nightmare and it takes you like three hours to make it right. No, that's because you set the constant. Don't do this ever. Add the constant one, always, 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 always. That way you never have to remember what constants you need to be set for that quest. All you have to do and all you have to need to know is that it needs to increase by one. That's it. And that just by doing this little change, had it over setting it, you just saved yourself like so many hours of development time. Just because you won't have any bugs to fix. You can thank me later or you can thank me right now by pressing the like button at the bottom of this video so that more people can see it more easily. So just keep in mind, whenever a player makes progress to a quest, you never set a new constant value. What you do is you always increase the quest value by one. That will avoid you so many problems, I promise. Okay, now, of course, you're gonna need to copy page the, copy the event page into a new one. We're gonna delete most of the text over here. Now, if the variable for the witch quest is greater or equal to one, this is a new dialogue, which is gonna be like, please bring me back the mushrooms quickly. And, of course, there's going to be four mushrooms. Now, each one of those mushrooms, once again, once we collect it, are going to increase by one the witch quest value. And so, once the witch quest value will be greater or equal to five, like one plus four equals five, not bad at maths, then we're going to have the next step, like where we have all the mushrooms. So, and have the text where you bring back the mushrooms to the, to the witch. And then, of course, once you talk with her, like, she's gonna give you the reward, which in this case, that could be, like, whatever you want. Let's just give 100 gold, because that's easy. Now, once again, we've made progress inside the quest, and so now we know that the value constant is 5. We're not gonna send the value to 6, no. We're gonna increase it by 1. Yes, of course. That makes so much sense. All right, so copy-paste once again. Now it's 6 or more. 
And then, of course, she's not gonna give the rewards once again. She's gonna tell you, like, thank you again. There we go. All right. So that is the main mistake that people do, really. Like, set the constant instead of increasing by one. Now, a second mistake that people do when creating quests is that they will create it directly inside the game. That is also terrible for so many reasons. Let's say that you have a quest that starts inside the village and then you have to go inside the city to talk to somebody that requires you to go pick up an item at the end of the world through the dungeon, which you need to do, tell the boss, collect the item, go back to the guy inside the city. And like, it just takes forever doing it and testing it. And so what happens if you miss something, like something goes wrong? Are you seriously gonna repeat and restart all over again? Your quest? Of course not. You don't want to waste like three hours to test your quest. So what you do is you create a simple map where you copy paste all the events you need for that quest. And then you test it inside the map for five seconds. And then you just copy paste those same events to the correct locations inside your game. So let me do just that. All right, there we go. So what I did is I went through Photoshop, created a mushroom asset with some glitters. So now we just have a stepping and a direction fix for that mushroom, which we're going to collect, play a sound effect, uh, show that collected a mushroom, and the witch quest was going to increase by one. Now, if I wanted, I could have also created an item so that the players can keep track of like the blue mushrooms for the quest and like give that item. I don't know, like, do we have any mushrooms there somewhere? Probably. There we go. So, there we go. So, for the witch quest, doesn't matter really. So, no, it's not a consumable. Occasion never. Like, so, plus none. And it's a regular item. Nope, it's a key item because it's for a quest. Cool. So, now we could also have the mushrooms uh, change the item. Give me a mushroom every time you collect it. Cool. And now, all I have to do is delete all those three events. And now, since I'm in a hub and all my quest givers and quest items are all in the same spot, I can test the quest in barely one minute, rather than multiple ones, depending on the size of the forest and whatnot. So, hello, I need blah, blah, blah. Uh, can you help me? No. Well, then get out of my house. Cool. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Can you help me? Yes. Great. I'm going to need four mushrooms, blah, blah, blah. Now the mushrooms have appeared so I can collect one mushroom. You got one mushroom. Please give me the back my mushrooms. Now, nothing's wrong yet. Nothing's wrong yet. And we got one mushrooms uh, inside my key items. I got the blue mushrooms, which is cool. And then all I need to do is talk to you found the mushroom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where's the reward? She gave me 100 gold. And thank you again. Cool. Now the quest is working properly. Of course, I forgot though to implement uh, remove the items. Decrease by a one. Mushrooms contents. So four. There we go. Minus four mushrooms. And all now all we have to do really is go back inside our maps. So the witch goes inside the house in the forest, so right over here. And we're gonna have like I only need one copy of those mushrooms anyway, so it doesn't matter. So let's put one here, one there, one over there, and one just right here. Cool. Now we can test inside the game, and we're 99% sure that this is gonna work from the first time because we already tested on a map which took us like five seconds rather than 30 minutes. So should there have been a fix or an issue, that will take like 5 minutes to fix. So really, really, really fast as you can see. Now we're gonna test the quest one more time, blah blah blah, of course. Gonna go outside. Hey, here's my mushroom. Here's the second mushroom. Third one. And the final one. Cool, so I got four mushrooms, can go back. And if I talk to her... Yay, my reward, thank you again, the quest works fine. Alright, so that's it for today's video, how you can properly create a quest, make it super quick to create, super quick to test, and avoid a lot of issues that will come up because you set the constant rather than increasing the value by one. Please make sure to like, subscribe, leave some comment, and I'll see you later for a new video. Bye! Bye!